guys and welcome back to another react video today we have isc vision revision uh i've seen a glimpses of it looks like it is tied to the ui moby glass the looting windows maybe the fps crosshair we'll see i'm um actually not that big of a fan to be honest uh and i'll explain why when we break it down in the video but we will uh we'll see how it goes. This should be interesting. Most of this is ponied up for 323. So should be in our hands pretty soon. Also, look at these figures. Yeah, the Gundam figures. Cool. I think Gundam is dope as hell. I follow a bunch of like AI Gundam Twitter accounts and like some Gundam artists on Twitter. And uh I love that stuff. Tell you what, tell you what, you know what kind of game I want? If I was the head of a studio and had hella money, make a Gundam MMO. Ooh, like some brutal thing. Man, that is what I want, yeah? Yo, let me know in the comments if you guys are down for that, because far out, that'd be fun. Anyways, let's uh, smash into this, yeah? Zappa 323 continues its journey towards what's shaping up to be one of the biggest and most impactful patches of Star Citizen yet. Yo, not an understatement. Like 323 is just, whoo, it's massive. That, like you'd call it the God patch at this point, just by the sheer weight of it. Like you can't not. There's never been a patch this big with this many changes, this much content. If each patch is even a quarter, no, let's more settle like for like a half, a half of 323 in regards to size. That's incredible. Feel like maybe we're really starting to pick up pace now. Let's see. We continue discussing the various aspects and features contained within. And this week, we're going back to Team Kian with a quick look at the updated lens and visor, loot screens, and new shopping interface. Okay, shopping. Is this guy green screening? Like, are they green screening all these animations? I'd be curious. Or if they're just doing them themselves. If that is, that's impressive. What's the difference between the lens and the visor? It's down to whether you're wearing the helmets or not. The visor is essentially your hood projected onto the helmet. So it's shown on the visor in front of your face. When you take the helmet off, you're wearing a contact lens in lower, and that shows your HUD as well. Of course, in a video game, you're going to need all that HUD information. You get information about your active status, your weapons, what you're holding, notifications, your missions, your comms, your chatting. Everything like that is part of the visor and lens. But we don't want to do it and just, it's magically there, right? You get the lens, it's right there. You have all the information projected on your eye immediately. And the second you put a helmet on, you will get the visor experience. It's making the UI diegetic. The big upgrade in 323 isn't so much new information, but it's a new dynamic system for showing and hiding widgets based on your current situation. So all the basic information that you would see, like you need to know your health status. So you have all of these widgets telling you, okay, you're dying from this thing. You're, you have no oxygen. It's about the say, they forgot the helmet there. It's warning you of all the different hazards that you can meet out there. All right, let's take it's a second look at it. Okay, so vehicles, all right got environment okay so this is like weather radiation oh radiation cool uh the g's interesting reputations your crime stat in the area okay notifications which is looks like to be health related that's kind of neat contracts okay uh and then the health which was the skeletal health system you see on the med beds okay cool this looks all right, and this is Moby Glass, so fair enough. You have all the different hazards that you can meet out there. We've got regions all over the lens, and we can specify which widgets we show on them. For example, down the bottom right, we've got the weapons. 
We've got the control hints. And we've got low... Like, don't... I don't want to see the grenade icon on the grenade. Like, I hate this. This is bad. It, it, the rest of this looks fine. But the UI element on grenades, nonsensical to me. Uh, let's see what else it's got here. So it's got an advanced mode. You can just adjust dosage. Okay. You've got weapons, throwables. Oh, yeah. So those are menus. Grenades, fire modes. Okay. And then on the left, same stuff. Okay, so this is basic. Which can take up a lot. There's the FPS radar. Man, I'm I'm very mixed on the FPS radar. Like, I think this is terrible for the game. And the only way I could see it work is if maybe, like, heavy armor players are prevalent on the radar. But, you know, like, how is this going to work with holding corners? How is this going to work? How, how much information are we feeding players? Um... You know, like, does light armor or is there stealth armor that makes you invisible on this radar? Like, or is it just purely for structures? You know, when a player maybe shoots a gun that isn't suppressed, do they then appear on the radar as an icon? I'm very curious to see how this goes. I probably should have done more research into this, but FPS, uh, I'm just waiting for the FPS gameplay to catch up to a reasonable state, I think, which I hear is doing pretty well in the new 323 patch, by the way. Um, but I'm very curious about the uh, FPS radar here in the corner. Real estate. If something else shows on screen that would overlap one of those, it'll, one of the lowest priority ones will dynamically turn off and it'll all fit nicely onto screen again. Hey, the FPS looks better. The recoil and stuff, cool. I'll tell you what too, like, I don't like the way they're doing the uh, the ammunition. Like, they should do straight up Tarkov style bullets like talking putting bullet by bullet into magazines like preparation certain rounds fit certain weapons looting rare rounds that have high penetration stuff like this like horses for courses you know like you if you're expecting targets to be in heavy armor then you need to bring a gun with armor piercing and a heavy round rather than light rounds from an smg like i'd like the idea of small arms just ricocheting off of heavy armor so like make this complex i don't like how the game is almost getting a bit arcadey i don't like to fit into that argument but the fps experience i was really hoping for space talk of and i think uh the way they're pretty recklessly dealing with ammunition i think is a, a bit too casual you know just a little too casual eating um you know, Tarkov is so great because, you know, you're doing ammunition maintenance a lot and it's it's real strategy. You know, like you want to have the right ammunitions. You can top mag with armor penetration and then halfway down the magazine, the bullets are just flesh damage based. Um, you know, the, the type of magazine you have, you know, could be more costly if it's a 60 drum, round, uh, drum mag in comparison to like a stock 30. You know, there's all kinds of stuff like looting rare magazines that can hold high capacity and maybe weigh a lot less can be actually rare and, uh, you know, loot, stuff like that. It just could be a lot cooler, I think. And I just, I, I'm concerned they've kind of made it too simple. But it's not make or break. Previously, all notifications were shown in the center of the screen, which could get a bit busy we've now introduced the concept of low priority notifications which anything that's not super important to you will show in a box just like looking at the the gun animations not super important gun to you is will show in a box down is it an fs9 um wow it kind of looks good like the gun animations for the recall actually looks kind of good i'd have to get this in my hands like zach is uh very present in the Shadow Moses Discord. If you guys know what I'm talking about, get in the comments. Uh, but, or in the description. But he's just done a sweep of changes to the FPS in 323. So I'll be very curious to get involved. I I owe it that to it. So we need to look at that, definitely. I really enjoy FPS games. Tarkov is arguably my favorite game. And it's also my most hated game at the same time, which is usually a good sign. The games you love is the games you hate. But 
I really hope that Star Citizen can capture that aspect and uh I owe it to liking those genres to put in some more work with FPS for sure. Um in the bottom right of the screen instead of being loud and in your face. The UI for the missions and objectives, again, that's all been updated. The notification should animate over to the right-hand side of the screen where we've got our new objective UI. This presents essentially all the same information as the old objective UI, but in a much nicer package. We've also reworked the weapon UI, so you see a more detailed description of the weapon that you have. And this new visor and lens has been adapted to incorporate the new minimap. Okay, so red doors being locked, green being unlocked, okay. Another aspect of our dynamic widget system is that we can turn off specific widgets when, depending on what you're looking at. So if you've got your Moby glass open, it can hide. Okay, so just, it's the same menu. I don't see any new tabs on the Moby glass, so it's fine. Oh, landing and vehicles, okay. A lot of the widgets, maybe except for the notifications. If you're looking at a kiosk, maybe we just want to show the control hints on the right hand side and everything else can be easily hidden. So with the visor, we can now customize the content that you see depending on the helmets you're wearing. And what this new dynamic region gives us. Yeah, so the bottom left, I'm guessing that's where you are, like the what's going on, I'm guessing, or is that crime stat? I don't know what, what that is on the bottom left. You got the health and then you've got hell uh like your limbs and stuff and then you've got health, that's fine. Yeah, this all makes sense. It doesn't look bad. I thought the new UI, the UI looked a little intrusive originally, but it doesn't. It looks fine. Beyond 323. I don't like these like guides though, the fire aim change fire mode. Gosh, I hope you can hide that. We'll be allowing artists to style things based on different visors and different missions and different purposes. The code for the different styles of manufacturers, etc., is in now. You can see the potential of having different visors for different helmets for these different roles. Oh, cool. The next thing is to get the artist onto the job, really. In 323, the only specialized visor is going to be the combat visor that comes with the dynamic crosshair. But you can expect us to continue iterating on these visors in future patches. So the this is what concerns me, right? Like when it comes to these menu systems that you need to interact with frequently, I just want simplicity, subtle, straightforward in Excel spreadsheet like, right? Um, good games to use this as an example, Escape from Tarkov and EVE Online. Uh, the, their UIs are very simplistic, they're very clean, they look good, and just there's less design inside of it, and so it's just so easy to use, it all makes sense. You know, I love that aspect of it. But when you get, like, you know, all this heavily designed UIs, I just think about how clunky it is, how you're kind of forced to play into it. The readability is not that great stuff like this. Like even here, you look at the top right, this core ARA compartment, that doesn't even fit into the, the little widget. So again, it's like me nitpicking though, right? Like it's not that big a deal and we'll see, but I would just like it to look a bit cleaner. You know, like if it wasn't trying to look as much like a hologram and just readable, manageable information and tables, that would be great. But Sometimes I worry that they try to dress things up too much, they overdo it, and then it kind of feels clunky, looks clunky. But again, I just need to see this in my hands, and I really hope you could change the colors, like the red and the, you know, this blue is just, yeah. Yeah. The screen builds on a lot of work that we've done in the personal inventory over the past few years. The existing personal inventory can be a bit cumbersome when trying to pick up ammo in Looks like they've changed the armor. Uh, that looks good. Again, like these these windows, like I feel like they're too big. Like just make them smaller, you know. Like because 
you are if if they have compartments leg core armor compartments you're looting a player and then you open up the bag on the top right then that's going to go off your screen and you have to like mouse wheel down and stuff i don't know just like there's so much you know like these legs could be a much smaller symbol just to make this all more digestible stuff like this like these the arm on the right's too big you know just things like that and I'm, i know i'm nitpicking so you know forgive me in that aspect but it does feel like you know a little clunky like i'd rather it to feel more structured manageable visible with a less like design almost i just want it to be like easy to read easy to use a firefighter and things like that so see like because and because he's in a fight and he's going through this he does so oh the new loot screen aims to address those issues. Now when the player goes over to a body or a box, it, it can quickly press F and this will bring up the new loot screen. This menu is a... Oh, that's good. Yeah, so like you can just quickly bang it open. That's good. Simplified version of the player's loadout and the entity they're looting. You'll see the looted entity items on the top and the player... See, like it even, like it even curves. If you move your mouse to the right, it'll sway. You know, it'll curve like, you know, this this stuff isn't that necessary, I feel like. And again, it's a me thing. I'm sure it's just me. You guys let me know how you feel about it. But, you know, I just worry that they overdo it sometimes. It doesn't need to be the best UI in gaming. It just needs to work. It needs to function. It needs to be out of the way and readable and usable in a quick, r reasonable time frame. On the bottom, you can easily swap between both and equip things from what you're looting by just clicking or clicking and dragging it's like even then like like you see like how large the ui icons are for these items so say like in this external storage that there's more items in this you're gonna have to mouse wheel down or hit this like arrow like it's just there's so much management on it um but yeah like i don't know i just I wish like maybe the icons were just smaller and it was just easier to use this stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'm clicking and dragging. This screen is a more simplified version of the inventory. Is to make the experience for the player to be quicker. We also now have a separate section for armor, which wasn't a consideration for Squadron 42. You'll just click a button and it'll take you to a new page and you can swap your armor with who you're looting and see everything that they had equipped. We also have some contextual actions in the loot screen. If the interaction looks way better, like way more sensical. Again, like I, I, I'm not trying to be as nitpicky, but yeah, just my my POV on it. If you are looking for ammo for a specific weapon, you can hover over that weapon, and it will show you any magazines or attachments that will fit that weapon. You can then quickly loot those or attach the weapon. Oh, that's attached. handy. That's actually handy. It's using that menu. So when the player hovers a specific item, this will appear a tooltip that will tell you the available actions. And that will include, for example, a single click to equip, a shift le left click to store it. We've also added a button to the loot screen to swap between that and the existing. What they need to do too is like the combining of these magazines, like that would be good to personal inventory view like if you got 40 out of 40 you know three different magazines just combine them so that we don't have to navigate through the hell that is our inventories because that's what it really is right it's about just navigating your inventory reasonably uh without issue the inventory will stay it's not going anywhere uh, and it's more for your management so what you're seeing here is still uh, the visuals are still for squadron we are planning to do a PU version, and that will come for this release. And our team's last big addition to 323 is an updated shopping experience. So today, when you're looking to buy an item, you look at that item and you see a flat piece of UI on the left-hand side of the screen. You then need to interact with this item, and if the price is high enough, it will take you to a confirmation screen in the Moby Glass that shows you more information where you can confirm if you want to proceed with the transaction. With the new Moby Glass being introduced, we took this as an. Should make it double click and it just doesn't even open up the Moby Glass. Bang.
and then you don't have to wait for the window. That would be nice. An opportunity to remove the old confirmation screen and update some of the UI around the shopping experience. We really oh, okay. want to sell the idea of the AR lens actually putting things out in the world. You will see the overlay around the item with basic information. Uh, you will see the price of the item and your balance. We're no longer going to be well, this is cool. directly interacting with the item to purchase it. We'll now have hotkeys that will be displayed oh, on the card. You need to press. Yo, that actually is good. I like that. So it doesn't have to keep opening up the Moby glass every time. Great. These hotkeys for a certain amount of time in order to complete the transaction. The process will happen in the background, and then you will get a notification if it was successful. So you can see now, in world, you have this interface with the information you need to see, OK, do I want to buy this thing? You just interact with it, cool. buy the thing, and you're done. The default key for buying will be B for buying. Um, but if you don't like it, you can go to settings and then change the key binding, like any other bindings in, in our game. The same will be true for renting if it is a vehicle or something that can be rented. We also have the concept of quick buy currently, which just allows you to grab the item immediately. So the main reason that we made there we go. this change is because with the new visors, we have redesigned some of the apps that you have, like shown on the visor and shown on the Mobi glass. We had the choice to either port the existing confirmation screen over directly as it is with all of the, its information or update the experience to something more fitting with our game now. Obviously, we still have the shopping terminals. So if you want to buy things in bulk, that's probably where you go. But when you're just picking that one thing up quickly, like that. So for anyone playing Star Citizen, 323 is going to mean a new visor and hard disk. I would just shrink the icons, like the armor on the player and uh, the corpse. Just shrink all these icons to be way smaller. And then I'd be happy enough. I'd also want the colors changed just quietly. Like, hopefully you can customize the colors. They had that uh, in the old movie glass for the chat windows and stuff. That'd be neat. But yeah, I think just shrink the icons. The icons are too big. And so the moment you get over a certain threshold, it's just hard to navigate. That's just gonna look way better than before. It's gonna feel more diegetic. It's been about polishing and improving and iterating on what we've already got in the universe. It's gonna have the new looting system, which is gonna make the flow so much quicker. Dude, did he just swap the undersuits and attach like all of the gear that way? That's that's neat. For you, as well as the new chopping system, looking nicer, being faster. We're hoping to provide a better experience to all the players so they have a more enjoyable experience with the game. And I'm really proud of the work that everyone on this team has been doing. So what did we learn this week? Well, we learned that the updated visor system will unlock artists to explore different interface stylings and designers to create more function-driven apps for the different manufacturers and purposes of helmets that the new Squadron 42 looting screens being adapted to the multitude of uses exclusive to the persistent universe, and how the new shopping interface aims to make finding and buying that item or vehicle in-game easier and more intuitive than ever before. For Inside Star Citizen, I'm Jared Huckabee. Thanks for letting us share the process of game development with you, and we'll see you all here next week. There you go. Oh, we got the little snippet at the end. Okay, we already know where this is going. Um, so <laughs> it's the duck thing. Man, when are we gonna get the Benny Merchantman? Not that I care. Anyways, so yeah, I thought the if I was to change it, I was just like maybe the colors could be changeable. That'd be great. Uh, and just the icons when you're looting, make them smaller so that we can navigate large amounts of loot quicker and easier and just a bit more reliable. Yeah. But aside from that, not bad. Uh, enjoyed the video. I enjoyed the changes. I really am a fan of the shopping UI. So not having to open up Moby Glass and click confirm purchase for every chocolate bar you're buying. That'll be really neat. Uh, the looting window just working a little better will make a huge difference. The heads up display in FPS looked fine. I really liked the weapon animations like the recoil and the gun holding that looked all right got a 
judge that more in detail in the future but i'm excited for those changes and uh i really want to like get more into the fps aspect i'm quite a sweaty sweaty fps player yeah i'm not bad and um i enjoy like competing in that aspect but star citizens fps has just been so notoriously broken for so long that i just haven't bothered but yeah i'd like to get into that and uh, hopefully 323 I'm hoping is the patch that I can do that in and not feel like I'm wasting my time. But another good video. I think um I think my next couple reacts might be based off a couple other games, to be honest. I've got like the Dune MMO coming around, which is starting to look really good. Really good. And boy, I love the Dune movie. And then um I'm a big fan of Ashes of Creation, kinda. Uh so I might do some reacts in that direction soon. But regardless, this was good, yeah? Uh, I, I don't know what's around for SCL tomorrow, so we'll see if we uh, bother with that. But good stuff. Enjoyed it. What do you guys think of a Gundam MMO, yeah? Are we all... Am I starting a Kickstarter for a Gundam MMO or what, boys? Appreciate you all, yeah? And I'll catch you guys next time, yeah? GG's. Peace.